Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price moved quickly to the upside with around 4.6% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 18.5 cents. We can see that the buyers are taking over because the volume was also high, showing that this move was strong. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 57, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent %K line is below the percent %D line, which means the current trend is on the downside. Moving to the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Looking at the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 52, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Moving to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. I'm